say 10 pieces, it's more like 50 pieces. Were there any teeth with it? No, but it's interesting because now I'm getting a feel for the horizon it's come from. Oh, what, because you... Yeah. Yeah. See, that's more massive bit of the lower jaw, you see? Cool. That's at the, um, I know exactly what level that's in. What we need to do actually is just drop that up. There. there you go, that's better. Better. Um, just to see if there's any more bits fit onto here. Yeah, that was stuck to someone as well, wouldn't it? Swung over that way. So is that the right hand side? See, that must lie something like that on there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that. the other way like that well what we got here is actually a, a juvenile pliosaur mandible which they thought was over three foot six long in old terms but it's actually just just over a meter long um, and it's from Ringstead Bay many many years ago and probably collected in the 1920s and that's how it's recorded it just says Ringstead Bay um, we pinned it down now, I think it's the white siltstone band, but as you can see, it's really interesting in the sense you've got the symphysis here, you've got one tooth, which is okay, it's broken, but what it shows us, actually the tooth is rounded, and not trihedral, as most Kimmeridgian pliosaurs are. So this could be a juvenile of Pliosaurus kevini, because again, that was found roughly at that same level in the lower Kimmeridge clay. Um, and if it is, it's the first juvenile that's ever been found of that species. It's covered in oysters, so it was on the seafloor for quite a time. But this, when we bring this up, would be the, the, the left part of the sort of mandible. And the rest of it, which is here, is actually not being collected or was missing. Um, but it's a really, really interesting specimen in its own right, because these are quite rare to find this sort of material. But sadly, what it needs really is actually cleaning it will look at 10 times better than it does now it's covered in we could leave some of the oysters because they're really scientifically quite interesting but the rest of the matrix could be cleaned off and we could then swing this over and, and actually present it in a f much better way but you can see um, if I pick this up uh, from here the underside of it and all this needs cleaning or there'd be all sort of blood vessels here you can see all the little foramina and goodness knows what. Um, but as a specimen, it's a really, really interesting specimen. And I saw this many, many years ago in the first display in the Dorset County Museum. And it's now in the reserve collection, um, which is, okay, safe. But it would be great to actually restore and clean this. And it would look 10 times better. And as a sort of scientific specimen, it's really, really important. That's all we've got for you today from the Etches Collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hopefully we'll see you next time.